Is Ripple capable of making you a millionaire? Will the XRP buyback allow you to retire early? Keep watching this video to find out more so that you don't miss out on an excellent opportunity to win a giveaway of 50 XRP tokens at the end of this month. Hey guys, welcome back to Whiteboard Crypto Update, the best spot for your daily dose of everything XRP and cryptocurrency. In today's video, we will talk about XRP's future, so be sure to stay focused as you surely don't want to miss out on this. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. On Twitter, Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse announced that his company has bought back his Series C shares, primarily sold to investors in December of 2019, to help raise funds for a $15 billion valuation. This made most of the crypto enthusiasts happy because it will positively impact the price of XRP. XRP has been dubbed as the banker's coins for years with good reason too. It is the only cryptocurrency that can easily connect banks. In the crypto world, XRP is the most sought-after cryptocurrency in the world because it provides a unique bridge between fiat and the crypto worlds. The RippleNet framework that underpins XRP enables banks to send money across borders in a cost-effective and timely manner. This is a unique feature that attracts banks to XRP. RippleNet is also powered by XRP, and it makes use of that power to provide on-demand liquidity to his partners. To top it off RippleNet assist in assurance of CBDC, which are the next big thing in the crypto world. SEC is still looking into this cryptocurrency. The Security Exchange Commission sued Ripple alleging that his executives sold $1.3 billion in XRP and an unregistered security offering. On the other hand, Ripple fought the claim, claiming that XRP is not and has never been a security. Slowdown is not in their vocabulary according to Brett. Despite the company's challenges 2021 was the best year for Ripple. The company's mission is what keeps it going to the moon. Ripple's labs provide liquidity to businesses and enables quick and secure cross-border payments around the world. The company has made significant strides in collaborating with the best and brightest in the industry. This should set the company apart from the competition. The network now has a daily volume of more than 10 billion. Ripple Labs is working day and night to build out a number of features for their RippleNet platform. They're working with developers worldwide on CBDC, NFTs, interoperability bridges, and more. Ripple is a force to be reckoned with, and this company will soon be untouchable. On the other hand, this crypto is on his way to the moon. Aside from that, let's get down the business with Ripple vs. SEC case. The CEO of Ripple Labs, Brad Garlinghouse has there buked the SEC for not following his own rules. Brett is also an executive in the Ripple vs. SEC lawsuit. He claims that in the short time he has worked with the SEC, he has learned how ironic it is for the agency to provide critical information. I suppose they don't follow their own rules. Brad Garlinghouse said. But what makes Brad say that? According to Brad Garlinghouse the SEC is unconcerned. If the United States falls behind in regulatory matters, that's because the SEC appears to have no other goal than to protect his own jurisdiction. Even if it means harming us citizens, Brad Garlinghouse has been a vocal advocate for more open regulatory framework. He claims that the SEC strategy is ineffective at the end of the day. The SEC puts politics ahead of policy, and that will not benefit the United States in any way. We understand if you're wondering where this all came from. Stewart already. The Ripple's company, General Counsel started a thread on Twitter, which prompted Brad to respond. The Biden EO estimated that 40 million Americans on crypto today. Thanks to the SEC, when systems saying that all or most tokens are securities and that U.S. exchanges are ruining unlawful security exchange. Stewart said on Twitter, which ones if you ask, well, no response, no disclosure. Suppose you've been following the SEC versus Ripple case. In that case, you're probably aware that this isn't the first time. The SEC has been urged to create clear regulations for the cryptocurrency world. Any crypto-related business should be able to avoid breaking the SEC's rules and regulations as a result of this. The SEC has explicitly stated that its rules are straightforward and easy to understand. So industry experts' pleas have been unanswered. Because the SEC is unwilling to provide any clear regulatory framework, the cryptocurrency industry is reliant on an executive order issued recently by the Joe Biden administration. This executive order outlines how federal agencies should collaborate to create a unified regulatory framework for the cryptocurrency industry, allowing the nascent asset class to thrive while protecting investors 
and the economy from its risk. Ripple has been committed to sustainability from the beginning and its design and development decisions reflect that commitment because of this. The open-source and decentralized XRP ledger has a large following. XRP has aided in accomplishing many goals as the underlying native token used for payments, and it will continue to do so in the coming days. After all XRP is the only currency capable of dethroning Bitcoin as the crypto world's king. According to Will Alert Crypto Tracker, while the sixth largest cryptocurrency XRP has seen a substantial price drop, Large crypto investors have moved nearly half a billion of these Ripple-affiliated tokens between exchanges. The largest amount of XRP ever sent was 300 million, following the flagship cryptocurrency Bitcoin, which has dropped by over 16% since yesterday, reaching a low of 26,300 on the Bitstamp platform. The XRP token has experienced a significant drop of about 30% plummeting from 51 cents to 36 cents. Moreover, cryptocurrency investors have had a nightmare week as the market crash, and Bitcoin reaches its lowest price since December 20, 20. Many other digital coins, including Ethereum, BNB, XRP, and others have also reached new lows. The crisis erupted after the collapse of stablecoin Terra, which was designed to trade one-on-one -on -one with the US dollar. Terra USD or UST, the 11th most valuable cryptocurrency by market capitalization is an algorithmic stable coin that uses smart contracts to keep its value as close to $1 as possible. However, after hovering around $1 for nearly a year, it plummeted to $0.29 cents yesterday, reducing its market capitalization for more than $45 billion to less than $5 billion. It's since recovered is $0.62, cents, but it's still a long away from $1. Luna Terra support coin has also dropped dramatically in price from $86 at the start of the week to $0.20 cents today. Terra's demise has had an impact on many cryptocurrencies, the much more notable, which is Bitcoin. Bitcoin is currently trading at $27,236, as low as level since before the crypto boom in the late 2020. Since peaking at 69,000 November 2021, Bitcoin has lost nearly two-thirds of its value. Ethereum is currently trading at $1,882, the level not seen since July of last year. A panic spreads across the market. Prices of Dogecoin, Solana, Cardona, BNB, Polygon, and other cryptocurrencies have also crashed this week. While the collapse of Terra was the primary reason for the crypto market losing nearly $1 trillion this week, according to MarketWatch, the demise of Terra could lead to increased regulatory scrutiny of stable coins. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen told the Senate Banking Committee on Tuesday that Terra's meltdown just underscores that this is a quickly increasing product and that there are risks to financial stability, and we need appropriate structure. The good news for non-crypto players is that the price shop will almost certainly make mining less viable. Bringing graphic cards costs even closer to MSRP. Well, guys, that's all we have for you today. What are your thoughts on XRP? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. If you guys liked this video, then be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, if you don't want to miss out on any new future videos then be sure to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification under this video, so that you're notified the next time we upload a video on the latest XRP and cryptocurrency news. Until the next video comes out, you can watch our other videos about XRP or other cryptocurrencies. Thank you for watching, and we will see you again in the next video goodbye.